Fortnite is full of secrets and things you've never noticed, so grab a snack and relax as we run through one hour of insane little details. Everyone knows there's pets in the game, but my favorite of all is Mary Munchkin, who has a tiny chance to dab when you get an elim or even smoke a candy cane. Still not as cool as John Wick, who got a new style four years later. It's based on the fourth movie with a full black outfit, but did you realize he's missing a finger? A nice tribute to the films. There's also insane detail at Chapter 5's train stations. Because each area of the map is set in different regions of Europe, the announcements are in real languages like French, German, and even Greek. Now, if you've been using cluster clingers and wondered what makes them so powerful, it's because they're actual grenades. They're almost identical to the ones we all know, except for the big red button on top. to shrunk down and strapped to the plunger. And have you been using Peter Griffin's set recently? Fans of the show will recognize the origin of his pickaxe. He used to sell them at the ballpark, and we all know what it's for. Butt scratcher! Butt scratcher! Get your butt scratcher here! But if you head over to Reckless Railways to explore, one piece of graffiti shows the cubes. This isn't a normal spray in the game, so either Epic is teasing something, or it's just a nod to the past. If you're playing Chapter 5 and trying to find a skin in your locker, you might be wondering why Peely looks like this. Well, that's because he went missing this season. It's even updated the locker to be a missing poster of him. Most contrails are usually pretty normal, but some of them go the extra mile. Equip the Sky Scratch Dive, and because it's Oscars, you'll be able to spot Tiger Eyes glaring at you through the shadows. The creeping cardboard also got updated for chapter 5, and now it's a great box for oranges. Maybe you're confused why? Well, it is actually taken directly from Metal Gear Solid for Snake's arrival to the game. One of the coolest parts of the season is the underground hideouts. Not only are they stacked with loot, but pay attention to the whiteboards here. As each boss around the map gets eliminated, they're crossed out with a red X. If you'd rather chill out in Fortnite Festival, have you heard about the secret stage? There's one hidden on the beach under the pier, and another where you'll have to do parkour all the way to the roof of Megaplex. Sometimes Epic puts attention into the tiniest things, like which side of the road to drive on. For six years, the signs around the map have indicated that people drive on the right-hand side. But when they added Mega City from Japan, they made sure the cars drove on the left. But one of the least used Marvel skins has an insane secret. Zoom into MJ's outfit and you'll spot this Black Dahlia necklace, the same one Peter gives to her in the movie, and it's even broken to replicate it. When the full tilt theme mode released, we all knew it was a reference to Naruto, but if your language is set to Spanish, it's actually called Nor Running. Yeah. I gotta be more obvious. Unlike another emote which hides the entire map. Reality Master was released for the end of chapter three, showing the island in the bubble. But if you zoom in, you can see they actually detailed both sides of the map, with chapter two still corrupted from the cubes. And if you pay close attention during the fracture event, you might have spotted the most OG detail in the entire game. As Paradigm flies through space, you can spot some players running along Cuddle Team Leader's head, a great homage to Fortnite's original logo. Even getting a phone call on Fortnite has more detail than you'd imagine. Listen closely to the ringtone in the busy emote. Sound familiar? It's pretty hard to notice, but it's actually the same song from Tidy. One of the shortest lived details is only around for a season. At Faulty Splits, you can find the old bowling scoreboard from the last people that played, but these aren't any ordinary names. They're actually all Fortnite devs that put themselves there as an Easter egg. And for players who paid attention all the way back in 2018, even the shipping containers had a small secret. Normally, they look like this, but just for Fortnite mares, they changed their graffiti to a zombie. Now let's bring our attention to Verity. She's a pretty recent skin, but has a detail that has confused everyone. She has a spy earpiece. It is the same one you by Midas's crew, and the artist revealed it was specially requested by Donald Mustard with more details being revealed in the future. Sometimes they like to leave hints to the past, because when we all landed in Chapter 2 for the first time, only 1% of players realized the middle island was in the shape of the OG Chapter 1 map. Some details are brand new, like anytime you equip a DMR, aim down the scope, and your character will actually close their other eye. You never even notice this. But did you know it was possible to see Groot in the game over a year before he was even in the battle pass? Star-Lord's backbling seems like a standard guardian jetpack, but look closely and you'll see a mini Groot keychain on it. There's also tiny secrets hidden on weapons. Everyone loved the recon scanner back in season 7, but I bet you didn't notice the tiny screen that counted the number of players in the area you marked. You also had to notice that Thunder is missing something to understand his secret. It's based off a kaiju like Godzilla, so you'd expect to see a tail, but take a look at his set and you'll find it's been chopped off to use as a pickaxe. Yeah. A truly hilarious detail could only be found in Retail Row. During the war between the spy factions, they set up undercover stores for Go 
rose flowers and shadow lamps. Only issue is they were neighbors, so they were spying right through the walls, vents, and even in telescopes. You can find even weirder encounters in Chapter 4. One of these random rift spawns was a chicken with Tender Defender looking after him. Well, except these were loot chickens glowing with items. If he really couldn't resist free loot, killing them would make him cry. <laughs> well, there's even some cool Easter eggs on the ATK. This is only the second vehicle to be added, but still featured a dirt burger and tomato head as a mirror accessory, alongside a golf bag full of pickaxes instead of clubs. But there is one detail that most people have never even seen. Cameo is one of the skins in Chapter 2's first battle pass, but people always wondered what her reactive feature was. Turns out if you're using the base style and aim down sights, her glasses display will light up. And on their sixth birthday, Fortnite updated something for the first time since release. Usually we all thank the bus driver as you drop into a match, but if you did it during the event, you wished them a happy birthday. If you played the Marvel season, you probably unlocked Jennifer Walters, and when you use her emote to transform into She-Hulk, she actually takes off her glasses. So what's the best part? Well, when you change back, she is still missing them until she puts them back on. So if they cancel it midway, she's stuck without them. Not the only interesting accessory, cause Colby is actually a VR player. She has the mask, headphones, and her pickaxes are the controller. She even equips them from her back bling, which is a console. There's so many secret details with skins that most people didn't realize Piper Pace's hidden meaning. Her base style is obviously Pizza Pit, but Hyperspace is inspired by Slurp Drinks, and Hazardous is based on Guzzle Juice. And if Tomato Head's Pizza was your favorite, you probably paid respects to the restaurant before it left in chapter one. As the rift appeared to take away the iconic statue, Islanders left picket signs around saying their farewells. Omega also says goodbye when he's eliminated. Since he has a bunch of LED lights all over his suit, when he gets taken out, they'll actually turn off. Not the only character who had something taken away. If you dropped at the yacht in chapter two, Midas' statue actually had glasses on. Turns out these are planned for him until the last minute when Donald and the team decided to cut them from his character, but I guess they forgot about the statue. At least he was given one of the coolest features in the entire game, the ability to turn any weapon gold. Although some of the old ones have never been tested, and that's why no one knows about the 24 karat Infinity Blade. LeBron James has three outfits in the game right now, but if you take a closer look at the Toon Squad and Taco Styles, his designs have been replaced with Fortnite references. There's a pickaxe, the cubes, and a battle bus in a rift. Even the words, we can build it. And if you ever wondered what this code meant on Jonesy's prison outfit, we have actually seen it before. Rewatch the trailer for Chapter 2 Season 5, and you can spot the same number on a door outside his office. Sometimes Epic goes all out on collabs, like Boba Fett's hidden reactivity. Aim down sights with the skin equipped, and you'll see his rangefinder come down and activate, just like in the movies. There's also emotes that have a bunch of details, like Pick Me, which comes with its own school desk. Just like in real life, there's scribbles all over it. A game of tic-tac-toe, a message from Peely, and even someone crushing on Jonesy. By the time Zero Crisis happened, most people had forgotten about Season 5, but Epic actually hid a secret from a previous trailer. When Kratos was introduced, he scared off Man Cake in the cinematic, and it took the whole season for them to eventually fight. There's some pretty strange weapons in the game, but a stink fish has gotta be one of the weirdest. These are actually based on blobfish in real life, and some of the variants look like a clown and whale. If you prefer a drink instead, grab a slurp juice, and you'll find a secret hiding in plain sight. Zoom in real close, and the glass actually has marking saying, Le Jar, so I guess it's fancy or something. We've all spotted the references in the Season 7 trailer, from crack shots back bling to the ornaments in the tree, but there's even more here that hardly anyone noticed. Like a rift to go snow globe, a home is where the fort is frame, and even the fact that the gingerbread are designed after Mary Marauder. Sometimes the design is actually a feature. Relic's back bling at people wondering if the map worked. Well, good news, the signal tracer arrow actually reacts to the direction you're turning towards. Even lobby poses have a hidden reference now. You're probably familiar with Agent Jones's iconic stance with his fist together, but this is actually taken from OG Jonesy's featured image in Chapter 1. When the island flooded in Chapter 2, Ocean knocks out Brutus in the trailer and takes his helmet, which she then keeps as an edit style for her own skin. But one place you don't want to look is in Tilted's toilets. Inside the cubicles, you can find a reference to the husks from Save the World on the white dispenser. Well, clearly someone isn't using it. Look at this mess. Yuck. If you want to clean your eyes after that, turn your attention over to some art instead. The Starry Night Glider is meant to be a stolen painting, but it's actually based off a real piece by Vincent Van Gogh. Only this time, it's Tilted Towers. Still not the coolest real life item in the game, because Cade's outfit features a retro gaming controller. The gauntlet on his left hand is inspired by the old Nintendo Power Glove. There's countless references and designs taken from the real world, and the same goes for the Nitro Fang. It's a mashup of an old Ford Mustang and AMC Javelin to form Fortnite's own getaway car. Epic got the Terminator collab spot on, replicating Sarah Connor directly, even her knife is on the belt. So when you equip the pickaxe, it actually takes it from the sheath. 
One of the tiniest landmarks was so loved by the community, it once got its own update. Chapter 2 added grumpy greens, a set of bushes as an angry face. So when reality waves hit, turning the place primal, they changed to rocks with a new name, Grumpy Gravel. Speaking of being turned to stone, Lyra is a modern day version of Medusa, and her sweater looks like she had a run-in with Agent Jones, turning him to Stonesy. If you want more evidence, just look at the back bling. And did you know there was a secret magazine in game? Deadpool's trailer revealed to us that Fortnite has its own version of Vogue, and Agent Peely actually won Banana of the Year. You better keep an eye out for Santa's reindeer too, because even though Dolph looks friendly, he has got a candy cane gun in his holster. Not gonna lie, I would love to see this become an actual weapon one day. One thing I don't want to see is Meowsel's butt naked. A poster in Mega City showed him flexing behind a bush with nothing on. Even his suspenders are gone. The backtracker back bling doesn't give you an advantage with the storm circles, but you do have to appreciate the effort of updating this to the new map every chapter. This even happened during OG. One of the saddest changes to the island happened when Deadpool took over the yacht. Sure, it was a great party and full of Easter eggs, but what happened to Meowsels? He basically got thrown out and given the cardboard box factory instead, and you can even find him crying. But if you're more of a dog person, Wendell is the skin for you. His idle animation really brings him to life by panting, scratching, and just acting like man's best friend. Not the only skin to pay attention to in the item shop, because when Diamond Hands first release, you can see the Fortnite stock market in the background. Look in closely, and you'll see companies like Durburger, Softies, and even Victory Motors. They're all doing pretty well, apart from Kevolution Energy, which has dropped by 999%. But there's a crazy secret with one of the most common skins in the game. If you want Lara Croft to talk to the Aura NPC at Crude Harbor, you'll get a special line of dialogue where she calls you a legend, because she's a treasure hunter too. And some players that were fans of the EV skin in Season 3 were disappointed pointed when her rap didn't make the dual pistols blue and red like the concept art. It was the whole point of her skin even appearing in her back bling. So people logged into the next update, they were surprised to see Epic had fixed it, a great tribute secret that you could only see with dual weapons. You probably realized by now that Epic put so much effort into things people barely even see. When the foundation was revealed as the rock, he did the iconic eyebrow raise. It's even his built-in emote. But to make it authentic, Epic had to add additional bones in his model just for his eyebrow. Back in chapter 1 and 2, you can find sections on the roads set up with a speed trap. Go past the speedometer and it would actually track your speed, whether you're walking, running, or even driving a vehicle. Just make sure it isn't the battle bus, because when it crashed in the Fort Nightmares trailer all the way back in 2018, that really happened. When everyone jumped in game, you could find the bus and balloon crashed into a field near Lazy Links. And it's even better when Epic pays attention to detail with collapse. When Star Wars returned for another crossover, we were amazed to see Luke, Leia, and Han arrive in the shop. But switch styles between Luke's farmer and Jedi Knight style. Not only does he lose his hand, but he even changes from Anakin's lightsaber to his own one. Not the only Star Wars secret in the game. Equip Obi-Wan, wait in the lobby, and eventually you'll see him do his iconic Jedi mind trick from the movies. You don't need to see his identification. One place Epic loves to hide secrets is during live events, and if you pay close attention during the Chapter 2 finale, you could see text on the screen. Dedicated players actually translated it to details about Jones, like his name, offense, and even his penalty being termination. Still not as hidden as Hacksaw's pickaxe detail. Each time you hit an object, the screens will turn red with a warning sign, breaking the coding. That's a lot less damage than Jones was during the Zero Crisis finale. We all saw him fall from the bus and take 99 damage, but this means he then fought Xenomorph, Terminators, and even the Foundation all at one HP. If you own the Amazing QB mode, take a closer look at the puzzle. This is no normal Rubik's Cube, but instead of the classic colors, the tiles are painted purple, gold, and blue, like all of the cubes. During the Marvel season, Epic had so many Easter eggs that everyone missed the Berserker Barrage spray, named after Wolverine's power ability in the Marvel vs. Capcom games. Some collabs are hidden behind normal skins. Joy was a community concept that made it into the game, but by surprise, she got a built-in emo playing Doja Cat. It's even crazier when you realize this is the only normal outfit to have a built-in icon series dance. Not the only concept secret though, because Nana Buddy was actually designed by someone in the community before being given out as a crew bonus. The full set was made by Denny and even contained a monkey skin that fans are still hoping to see. But only a handful of players got to see the secret mini game that was only added for 48 hours. During the black hole, you can enter the Konami code and play a pizza bit version of Space Invaders to pass the time. And if you missed the old map, just equip the eco skin, which is filled with memories. From Dusty Depot getting hit by the meteor to Loot Lake's destruction, even his legs are the different biomes. It's no surprise creators wanted to add the same level of detail to their own skins, and that's why if you look closely at Cypher's glider, you'll see this bow. 
It is the same one tied to his microphone, and it's all because his wife gave it to him when they first met. But one of the craziest details on the skin wasn't discovered for almost four years. Sash Sargent was released all the way back in Chapter 1, but it wasn't until recently that people noticed every badge on his outfit is a real scout badge. One of the most popular Fortnite Mares collabs is Michael Myers, and if you equip his famous knife, it's exactly what you'd expect. But use it on a player and you'll get the iconic slasher sound. Kato's modern hotels from Chapter 4 also have some great details. If you look at the paintings, you can see things like the cubes, Mega City, and even the Herald. But did you ever notice a special design on Season 7 planes? Cuddle Team Leader is on the side of the Stormwing, and this is actually a clever throwback to old warplanes in real life. They even have a picture on the dashboard. Sometimes details are a complete accident. Back in the early days, Epic would just retexture an entire skin, which is exactly what happened for ones like Skull Trooper and Rex. But if you look carefully, you begin to notice they're not wearing sleeves, it's skin paint. And some people still don't know how accurate Fortnite is, even with the smallest things. From tiny spaces between objects, to little holes in the wall, you could actually shoot through any of them. But you'd have to be an OG to remember the hidden stickers on the battle bus. You can't find them anymore, but he used to have Cuddle Team Leader giving free hugs, signs to keep doors locked, and Greasy Grover bust on the rear bumper. One of the coolest details on Fortnite is the sky, though. When the iceberg crashed into the island, Epic added the Northern Lights with it, which could only be seen at night. They looked so cool, they also kept them the following chapter. Sometimes the skin will have a hidden backstory, but no one ever expected it to be Renegade Raider. Yeah, when the new remix version released in Chapter 4, Epic revealed that she's actually her sister. They even got reunited in the loading screen. We're all familiar with the existence of Fortnite China, but most people never got to see some of its craziest changes. Since images of skulls are banned, things like Mystique's skull had to be turned into a ball, Blackheart had no face, and Shadow Brutus looked like Gru. There was also some hidden references that involved Mr. Beast. Everyone was so focused on winning a million dollars in his tournament that they missed a plane crash, house drop, and military chase from his famous videos. Speaking of viral clips, one moment by iFrost Origins captured the worst mistake on the Chapter 2 island. So, when Epic saw it, they couldn't help themselves and added a gravestone to mark the occasion. And you can highlight your own success with this competitive back bling. Each season, Epic gives out a new reward to show off your skills, from the burned right emote to now the red mask ranker. It progresses with your rank, and after the end of the season, it will lock in the highest level you reach to flex on other players. Not the only accessory to pay attention to, because in the Ghostbusters collab, there's only a few differences between the male and female outfits. Take a look at the gadgets, and you'll notice the males have old tech from the 1984 movie, while the women have newer items because they're from the 2016 reboot. And during Chapter 3, there was one secret that had everyone guessing. On a cabinet at the Jones's POI, you could find a giant blue cube which looked identical to Blevin from the end event. Next to it were some dice colored purple and yellow which matched the rest of the cubes as well as a mysterious red version that we still haven't seen. One feature that Epic never needed to add left us all feeling a little disappointed. After we got to tame wolves and boars, we could ride them all over the map. But if you died in battle or replaced them with another animal, they'd end up heartbroken. But only the most dedicated fans of Attack on Titan spotted this secret about Levi. Wait a while in the lobby, and you'll see he picks little things off his jacket and brushes his clothes. Seems like a normal idle animation, but this is a clever reference to how he's a clean freak in the show. And the next time you go up to a vending machine and speak to Lana, try using the crowning achievement emote. She'll have a unique line reacting to it, and it even changes depending on what she's selling. Not the only AI that has some hilarious speech, because half of the bots in the game have great references. From Athena or Apollo asking which chapter's map you prefer, to references from famous literature like Double Plus Good for 1984. If you travel to places like Kenjutsu Crossing, you can find these gongs hanging on a stand. It looks like a standard prob, but hit it and it'll actually ring. Nice. Not a sport, but softball is, and it's officially in Fortnite. Back in Chapter 3, Jones confirmed the IO has a team for each department at HQ, even the Doomsday Division. Oh man, their softball team is awful, but they will one day destroy us all, so kind of a wash. And if you want to keep track of time while you play, equip Ludwig's Clockwork Backbling, and it'll show you your real local time on the clock. Pay attention next time you're watching the Spies launch trailer, as we're introduced to each agent, their description pops up. But when Midas appears, his description changes gold exactly as the narrator says... Midas, a mastermind with the golden touch. And I bet you never noticed there are laws in Fortnite. When you visit any of the hotels or the pool, you might spot a rules sign. It says some obvious stuff like no diving, alcohol, or weapons, but then they finish off by saying you can't even have fun. There's also more signs warning you against peeing in the pool. If you're not a fan of swimming, maybe you prefer driving around on a Segway. This email was part of the Battle Pass in Chapter 3 Season 2, but little did anyone know that it was actually an official collab. 
Some players have pointed out that Paradigm might have a hidden reference on her face. Since she's the pilot of the mech, it's pretty interesting that she has a scar on the same eye as the robot. But it could all just be a coincidence since the mech's head is originally based on Cuddle Team Leader with the exact same scar. If you want to sit down to relax, there's actually a hidden difference between the two animations. Males will often sit with their legs on one knee while females cross them over completely. But if you're sitting around a campfire, just make sure you're not roasting a llama. In the old jungle biome, Epic hit a small tribal village and you can literally find a llama skeleton being cooked on the fire. It was horrifying. They didn't exactly stop with the creepy secrets either. If it paid a visit to the Herald Tree and listen carefully, you could hear her spirit still breathing from within. We all know the high stakes club for vampire hunting teenagers, but they were also super fans of Starfang, a secret vampire. So if you spoke to her NPC as each of them, you'd actually get special dialogue. And if you went back after they found out she's a vampire, she turned against them. We have had so many villains in Fortnite, but I don't think anyone expected Palpatine himself to speak in the Star Wars event, which was actually canceled in the movies and is even mentioned in the opening crawl. Still not the craziest collab because Kirby once accidentally appeared in the trailer for Party Royale. Epic has never had a crossover with Nintendo, so they actually blurted out of the video. A trailer secret you can still find today is right at the start of Chapter 2's launch. As it zooms out of the black hole throughout the space, the camera actually flips 180 degrees because of course, we went to the other side before returning again in Chapter 3. Even simple trailers have hidden lore and that's especially true with the Slurp Legends pack. When the three of them entered the test and come out of Slurp Monsters, you can see Chaos Agent in the background, the mastermind behind the experiment. This is the Bash Burner pickaxe, so while the fire is pretty tiny, it's easy to miss a mind-blowing detail. When you step into water, it'll extinguish the flame, and this works for all cosmetics. The tactical shotgun has been in the game for years, but nobody paid attention to this tiny green monitor on the side. If you zoom really far in, you'll notice it's playing a game of Snake. Everyone loves Baby Yoda, and it's easy to sit there and watch him be adorable, but if you wait long enough, you'll pull out random objects like the ball from the Razor Crest or a bowl of soup. Speaking of back bling, Skull Trooper set includes Ghost Portal, and it turns out this actually releases the spirits of other skins like Rex, Bright Bomber, and Rustlord. Make sure to look closely the next time you reload, because every bullet you put in your weapon can be customized. Depending on the wrap you've equipped, the bullet will change too. If you take Rocket Raccoon along for the ride, he is very interactive, from holding his breath underwater to spitting at people when you're knocked. An amazing detail could be found on Mancake, more specifically his head. In a match, the sun is glaring right at you, and with each passing minute, the butter will melt, getting smaller and smaller until it's completely gone. But I feel bad for the Stringles pickaxe. If there's one thing guitars are known for, it's getting smashed. Hitting things not only breaks the guitar, but his face becomes more and more bruised as you do it. A detail nobody talks about was that Steamy Stacks in Chapter 2. We knew this thing was powered by Kevin, but the POI was full of subtle details. I mean, look at the bushes. Leading up to the entrance, they are all cubes. If you find yourself in shadow mode, lurking in the sideways, or even with an alien parasite on your head, make sure to turn on voice chat because you'll sound like this when talking to your teammates. Midas is known for his golden touch. In fact, it spreads to every weapon or item he holds. But what happens when he's wearing gloves? On the bodyguard LTM, every skin gets a pair of gloves, and when it comes to Midas, his gold touch stops working. It's just like the marshmallows and the toasty roast emote. If you spend a long time holding them over the fire, they burn out and need replacing. But you might need that fire to warm yourself up because did you know that when you stand in a cold area, you can see your own character's breath? And there are some secret messages hidden in the license plates of your favorite Fortnite cars. The whiplashes are super fast, of course, while a sedan beats walking. Taxis are harder to figure out, but it's a reference to the Power Play radio station. Bear pickup trucks are grisly, and even though police cars are gone, they had laws written on the back. If you use the popcorn emote while standing in water, they'll float on the surface for a second. In replay, you can see that your character is actually pushing the accelerator and brake pedals while you're driving. When it comes to a tank, you literally control it with levers from the inside. You would never see this in a normal game, and Fortnite added it anyway. Running over leaves in Chapter 4 will make them fly around, but this has been happening for a while, just not the way you think. In previous seasons, this would happen with confetti, where walking through it would cause it to have physics. I'm more impressed by the fact that Midas' golden touch extends past weapons and items. It turns out, gas pumps also turn solid gold. It's not as subtle as the audio in Fortnite, which has an insane attention to detail. Every footstep you hear in the game is different. The obvious ones are when you're walking on different terrain, like roads, sand, and snow. But the type of shoes you wear also change it. Heels make different footsteps to something like boots. There are plenty of guns that are modeled after real-life weapons, and they work the exact same way. Shooting them actually makes the bullet casing fly out and land on the floor, and your character has proper trigger discipline while reloading. Once you use those bullets to eliminate someone, make sure to check out the kill feed because 
because there's some secret messages that only appear for special deaths. Dying on a shopping cart says, you shop till you dropped. Being crushed by the police car junk riff means you arrested yourself. And if you somehow get run over by your own quad crasher, you forgot to set the parking brake. I feel like nobody would have noticed this flare gun secret, but Epic added it anyway. If you shoot a flare into the sky and look at the bullet in replay mode, it has text that says, fire at 45 degrees, just like a real flare gun. Before it released, the item was teased in a short film at the World Cup. Nobody knew if it was an actual gun or just a prop for the movie, but if you looked at the crate, it had a number. Seems random at first, but this was the release date of season three, which would eventually bring it to the game. If you land at Grand Glacier, you can now find the most hilarious chest ever. There's giant bushes shaped like a deer, but look behind it and who did this? So if you're rightfully arrested for what you just did, watch out because it turns out someone actually owns the Fortnite police car. When they set up the real life event in the California desert, the number plate gave us the model of the car, revealing the in-game model is based on a 1988 Dodge Aries America. For those who treated their animal with respect, they have an exclusive secret that only appears with lightsabers. Not only can you use them while riding a Boar Wolf, but they even have a special animation just for this occasion. And that's not even the cool secret that Star Wars has. There's only one person in Fortnite with a custom death scene, and that is Darth Vader. When you defeat his boss, he doesn't fall down like everyone else. Instead, he kneels before turning into blue pixels. And nobody has noticed the ridiculous amount of detail in the Witcher set. If you use his Igni sign emote while holding the sword, he'll actually keep it in his hand and remove it from his backpack. And that's not the only special cosmetic, because players discovered a small Easter egg when they combine a regular emote with a collab skin. If you became Thanos in the Avengers LTM and then used the snap action, it would make the Infinity Stones flash. Chrome was only here for one season, but if you actually threw a splash at a chest, not only would it transform the look, but the loot inside would also be converted. Forget the items because materials are even more important. This secret has been in the game for five years and there's so many people who never noticed it to this day. It is very small, but if you change the mats you're building with, the blueprint paper will change with it. And if you're not already Harvesting resources, you could actually use your pickaxe to change the music at the DJ booths. Hitting the weak point will change the song track in the disco so you can play whatever you like. Bring some food to the party with the sizzling emote, but be careful because it can catch fire. If you wait long enough, you can start to see the food burning and it's only a matter of time before they become flaming charcoal. There's even more detail put into the rift to go. If you look closely, you could actually see a small segment of the island and that's because it works like a functional snow globe. The island has more secrets like this too. If a player is wearing a bush, moving to a different biome will change the color of the item. Sadly, this doesn't work nowadays, so let's hope they bring it back. It's not just collabs Fortnite's been referencing this season, sometimes it's themselves. If you've been playing the Lego mode, you'll know the insane amount of dialogue there is with hundreds of NPCs. In fact, there's 50,000 lines of dialogue. And if you have Aura, she might say she gets so mad, she wants to flip an entire island upside down. If you know, you know. The Matrix emote has a super unique feature that gives any outfit a pair of shades, just like the scene from the movie. You just gotta appreciate the realism in Fortnite, even something as simple as a drink has so much detail inside of it. Running around with a potion in your hand, you could actually see the liquid sloshing around and it forms bubbles from the gas. That's just like how the clocks in the walls are always running. I mean, sure they don't tell you the real time, but for every minute that passes, they move with it and they even follow the day and night cycle. I'm pretty creeped out by the gnome pickaxe though, because swinging this thing starts off okay, but after a few hits, it <laughs> giggles with the infamous gnome voice. So if you're creeped out by that, at least Epic didn't reveal your address. In the Zero Crisis finale, they actually put their location on the side of Terminator's truck. If you search it up, it takes you right to Epic Games HQ in North Carolina. There's plenty of things to say about the water in Fortnite, like how swimming against the stream is slower, but the real challenge is trying to drown yourself. It's tough, but it's actually possible and you'll lose health over time. In case you're some kind of psycho, no, this doesn't work on animals. They're totally fine and will despawn if you tried this experiment with them, which you gotta appreciate. With the new jam tracks, there's tons of new songs coming to the game every week, but one of them might be familiar than the rest. You can now catch Belle Bib DeVoe on rotation in the shop, and this is actually the music that Turk dances to in Scrubs. Recognize it? Yes, it is the iconic default dance, and now we can finally recreate it entirely in game. But don't get too comfortable because you might have to run from a giant cube. Back when Kevin was in the game, if you got crushed or zapped by him, the text in the kill feed would be corrupted, showing his name as a bunch of flashing symbols. But one thing has taken the community by storm after it was discovered hiding on the chapter five map. In the north, you can find Cloister Castle secluded on a rock, but this place has way more than you can imagine. On the top floor, you can find Midas' office chair straight from his room in chapter two. It's looking out over the island, leaving many people wondering if he's returned. And the new guns could even track 
track how fast you dance. The heisted exotics use a rap called Neon Pulse, which changes color over time. So if you emote around them, it'll speed up and flash even faster. A detail you'd only find in the files is the code name of the islands. They're based on Greek mythology and actually make sense to the story. Chapter four is named Asteria, which is the island that Apollo and Artemis were born on, referencing the prequel nature of the season. It's crazy how committed Epic is to immersion, especially when it comes to graphics. With RTX, you can see accurate reflections in water, glass, and even the scopes of weapons. I mean, so much work goes into tiny things we barely notice. If you've been playing Fortnite for a while, you're probably familiar with the battle call emote. But did you know every one in a hundred times this can happen? Just like in season eight, when Epic added a huge telephone for both their burger and pizza pit, but the twist was they actually worked. You could dial the numbers with your pickaxe and it would function like a real phone. So if a player was at the other restaurant, they'd hear it ringing. Another awesome detail was added to the map after the World Cup in 2019. Not only did the winners get a trophy and millions of dollars, but they also got their own secret tribute. If you visited Lucky Landing, a trophy engraved with Booga's name could be found. This is because it was his drop spot at the time. Now you might have forgotten why Lucky Landing was even added as a POI. To celebrate Chinese New Year in 2018, Epic changed multiple huts across the island to shrines, along with adding a brand new POI. These never appeared again for future years, so it makes sense why no one remembers it. The same goes for a secret about sharks. We've all ran into them, but there's a hidden detail that 99% of players forgot about. When Epic released this LTM, there's a small room with whiteboards telling us the IO wanted to give one lasers, a jetpack, and that his official name is Bruce. Now, of course, it's a reference to Finding Nemo, and there's even a line implying he could talk. Now, it's still not as surprising as the first Icon series emote, which was hidden in a battle pass. When streamers launched season three, none of them expected to come across the positivity emoticon straight from CD and the Third's chat. <gasps> No, they didn't. Oh, no, no, no way. way. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. Oh, my God. They oh. added it for you. Open bracket. Plus side. Close bracket. Oh. Let's go. Wait, well, look at this. Look at look this. And he wasn't the only one to get a secret tribute in the game. Because when the Summit Striker pack released, people could only see one person. Not only was the name similar to Summit 1G, but it also had a giant letter across the jacket, which was undeniably similar to his own logo. And let's just say Ninja, he was a little jealous. Summit Striker. It's got his colors. And it says 1G across the chest. No, it doesn't. Oh my God, it yeah. does. What? Is it, are you serious? And some skins have a secret that the devs forgot about too. These dog tags are all on the defaults, but what most people don't remember is that every skin was originally gonna have these. Well, that's until Fortnite started making more creative designs. Everyone had them around their neck, even if they felt out of place. And now you can still find them on Ghoul Trooper, Sparkle Specialist, and some newer skins like Ready Penny and Recon Champion. And speaking of old details, there's a classic part of Fortnite that even OGs have forgotten about. By now, we're all used to looking at the bottom left of our screens for health, but before chapter Chapter two, this bar was actually in the middle of the screen and looked completely different. But with the upgrades to graphics, we lost a detail that was small, but pretty iconic. Whenever you ran, you used to kick up clouds of dust behind you that looked like it was straight out of a cartoon. A change a lot of players were happy to see was to the original minigun. When this thing was first added, you could fire all 999 ammo without stopping, which is obviously, I mean, it's a little overpowered, okay? But you'll have to go back even further to remember the giant clock that you could find in the desert. In the Mesa Hills, one of the mountains had a bunch of cars and logs on top, forming a huge sundial with a telephone pole in the middle. So if you're tracking numbers, then pay attention to Jules' drum gun. Since she's the mechanic of the device and other inventions, it is no surprise that her mythic has a hidden mathematical equation engraved on the side. The formula is actually a real one used to calculate force with mass multiplied by acceleration. When you pick it up, one thing you wouldn't notice is the old sound effects. I think a lot of us forgot about this tiny detail, but the sound, it's so nostalgic. The same can be said about the classic assault rifle, which hasn't been seen in over four years. In early chapter one, the air looked a bit different and actually had a white flaming skull painted on the side. And when Coral Castle was revealed, players were disappointed that it wasn't Atlantis, but there was one detail that almost made up for it. If you went to the bridge, you could find these conch shells and make an entire song with them. From a water temple to a jungle, Pizza Pit used to be a normal restaurant until the head vanished into a riff one day. Everyone thought it was gone until it came back as a stone statue, obviously teasing Tomato Temple with the new tribe worshiping their tomato god. And that's not the only iconic POI that got a strange revamp. 
In Season X, the rifts didn't just destabilize the name locations, even the wooden chair was affected and transformed into a giant spaceship made of metal. Looking back, Chapter 1 had a lot of random POIs, and the biggest was probably the football stadium. It was added for the 2018 FIFA World Cup, but only lasted 4 weeks before being deleted. They also removed the ability to carry 10 minis in a single slot. During Season 7, Epic nerfed it to only 6, which seemed like a big change at the time, but now we're all very used to it. And they also used to look insanely different when using them. All consumables had the same animation of either wrapping your arms or just holding an empty hand to your mouth no matter what you were drinking. You'll probably never have the chance of seeing that again, but there is a small possibility of getting this secret version of Howl. There's only a 1% chance of it happening, but instead of the Howl, you'll hear this. Now, if you're subscribed to Fortnite Crew, you might have unlocked a secret back bling that nobody noticed. With the start of the primal season, we were all so distracted that a lot of players missed a unique backpack of Jonesy as an action figure with its own customizable parts. But there was one object in the map that a ton of people missed back in Season 6. We were all focused on the giant iceberg making its way to the island that we didn't see Ames parachute land on top of Flush Factory. It was a great attention to detail that even matched the story loading screen. And while we've seen Fishstick die in the comics and in Thunder's trailer, a lot of people don't remember his first death in chapter 1. With Bigfoot released, not many players paid attention to his back bling, but look closely and you'll see poor Fishstick stuffed into the cooler with his arm hanging out. Chapter 1 had so many forgotten details and one of the best was the interactive events. Throughout season 8, we had to pickaxe giant dig sites to slowly uncover whatever was underneath. One by one, we completed each of them, revealing skeletons, geysers, and even creating a lava eruption. Eventually, we found the vault, which led to the entire thing being discovered underground. And most people don't remember that back blings didn't didn't actually exist at first. Nowadays, we're used to being able to customize everything, but before season three, things like shields, ski bags, and even Love Ranger's wings were glued to the skin. Another forgotten detail could be found at Der Burger, which was the most iconic restaurant since day one until it was infested by cockroaches. You probably remember the great food war between the rival companies, but there was a time when Tomato Head just took it way too far. You could find a box of insects on his truck outside Der Burger, and just a week later, the entire place was closed down for health and safety. A great attention to detail that storyline lovers will appreciate is the visitor space pod. After the meteor first landed, it eventually cracked open to reveal the tech inside. But when time was reversed in Season X, Epic didn't forget. They made sure you could actually head inside and see the pod before it hit the ground. In that same chapter, there was a small town in the community called Westworld, with one house that stood out from the rest. The red building was full of the iconic Fortnite chairs, and nobody knew why, but one day, they all randomly transformed into old TVs. Something none of us have seen for a long time time as LTMs, but certain modes only release once and most players never got a chance to try them. Things like Steady Storm had a constantly moving zone and Ground Game was basically an early version of Zero Build. There was also a bare bones mode that took away most HUD elements so you couldn't see the storm, players, or damage numbers. One image that Epic did give us was hiding a secret during Operation Skyfire. After the event, we all watched the downtime screen for Season 8, but Fortnite wasted no time dropping teasers. There were some pretty strange images, but when players noticed pieces of a QR code in the corner, piecing them all together would take you to a short trailer for the new season. In Chapter 2, we had to choose between Ghost or Shadow for each of our Battle Pass agents, and whichever you selected was permanent. Sadly, there was no way to get the other style, but it was cool to see the votes change each side's POI in the next update, with Brutus's Grotto turning to Shadow and Sky Shark becoming a Ghost Prison. Now, there's a vehicle in Fortnite that most players don't even know exists. We all know what happened with the police cars, but it's surprising that we've never seen the ambulance or fire truck in the game. Well, it turns out they do exist, but are only in save the world, so it feels like we're kind of missing an opportunity here. Right above Shady Stilts, you can find a nice statue of Fishstick. Well, that's what we all thought until we checked it with thermal vision. Yeah, not exactly a statue, Fishstick might actually be trapped inside. Collabs nowadays always have secrets, and one of my favorites is hidden in the Transformers Contrail. Combo this with every skin in the game, and you'll see the Autobots logo, but Fortnite secretly changes for Optimus Primal, where instead you'll find the Maximals. You can also find details in original cosmetics like Treezy. With each in the match, he changes colors like a real tropical frog, and you can even hear him make a sound every time. Now, thankfully, it won't take as much effort to find the secret in the Sunny Stroll emote, which is hiding a rift butterfly for anyone who does it for long enough. The same goes for Stormy Slog, but this time, if you're patiently waiting, you'll get struck by lightning. Another secret cosmetic is Bender's back bling. Not only is his son from the show, but he's also reactive, and if you're wearing this little guy and take damage, he'll start crying. Even the Icon series is full of hidden details, and one of the best has to be Chica's wholesome tribute. Take a closer look at the pickaxe, and you'll see Ida, a tribute to her grandmother. And hopefully she's proud. She 
always will be in the game with me. And the collab details keep coming with this mole on Padme's face. Pretty neat detail, but it's not just to match the character because it's actually based on Natalie Portman's mole in real life. More noticeable things are still fun to spot too, like when the new Terminator collab dropped with Tiny Peely driving the truck. And that is nothing compared to one of the craziest details Epic's ever made. We got to explore the IO's base in the imposters mode, but take a look at Jonesy's closet and you'll notice the Tuesday suit is missing. This ties all the way back to how he jumped into the zero point after the Galactus event and never returned. You probably guessed it by now, that happened on a Tuesday. Don't let that detail take away from one of the coolest backlinks, and I mean that literally. The snow cone melts when your health is low and will actually fill back up as you heal. In chapter one, we all knew Fortnite made their own versions of popular heroes like Wonder Woman or Iron Man. But hardly anyone noticed the fake Cyclops skin right out of the X-Men. Axiom has the same color scheme, laser eye mask, and even a giant X on his back. There's also another secret imposters that roasted tons of players. If you're ordering pizza in the cafeteria, take a look at the options, and you'll notice that pineapple is labeled as psycho. And if you're defeating the Peter Griffin boss and wondering why he isn't wearing his iconic clothes, it's actually a real outfit from the show. In the Lottery Fever episode, the Griffins win $150 million, and of course, Peter spends half of it on a solid gold tuxedo. Epic also went all in with the latest Star Wars event by adding something only the most dedicated fans would notice. After the third week, the menu turned red, and the symbols at the bottom could be translated from Orabesh to read Order 66. One of the most realistic features in game could only be seen when using certain items. You ever notice anything fire doesn't cast a shadow? Well, that's because flames in real life are the same. And so the level of detail here, it's incredible. The Futurama collab is so much love put in that Bender has over 50 unique voice lines. After you hire him, he'll follow you around and reference tons of episodes, with one of the best being, didn't I have a baby with you once? It only happens when you interact with the vetting machine because that's how his son is born in the show. But there's one prop in game that wins the award for being the cutest. On the chapter three map, you can find this watering can in the shape of a pink elephant, a tiny addition that a dev had to go out of their way for. Just like one of the most useful emotes in the game, Swag Shot. You can use it to measure the actual height of any skin and you'll find out that Peely is nearly oh. seven feet tall while Optimus Prime barely reaches six. For anyone with the escapist umbrella, you might have missed a secret design this whole time. You had to win the impossible escape LTM to get it, which is why the caveman drawings in the top depict the entire mode, running from raptors, collecting parts, and even flying away in the choppa. But I'm more impressed that they put so much attention into Breeze of Bell's crew pack. Swinging the wand pickaxe creates bubbles, and they even have the oily rainbow effect just like in real life. There are two hidden references on a skin you would never expect. Kit Bash has been around for a while, and his Cat Bash style has Meowth's agent earpiece, and even a heart with links on his belt. Some tiny details, but not as small as the reactive jets on Mecha Strike Commander. Whenever you sprint or jump, the boosters on the arm will shoot out red flames. While most things are added for extra detail, some are secretly foreshadowing the future. On Malik's shield, you could see a hand reaching out of goo, exactly like the teasers for Chrome at the end of the same season. And if he managed to unlock Trace, he's reacted to this emote and no one really noticed. Normally it has blue water, but equip is rebel style and it changes to green. There are other emotes that also have a hidden variant. When it comes to burpee, you'll either do the normal exercise or show off your terrible manners. <sighs> So if you want to hide after that, the Shadow Bomb is a good way to get cover, but if you ever zoomed in on it, you realize the top has been a dragon head this entire time. Sometimes Epic can be funny with their jokes, and they didn't hold back when it came to the Tad Axe. The description might seem strange, but Regrets is actually misspelled on purpose to mock people who get tattoos spelled wrong. It's even a scene from Where the Millers. I mean, what is this one? Oh, this? Uh -huh. That's my credo. No regrets. Pay even more attention to cosmetics from now on because sometimes Fortnite uses them to tease the future. Back in season eight, you could pick up the Crossroads pickaxe, which had signs for Tilted Road and Pleasant Ave. But the word delete scribbled over it was it for nothing because at the end of the season, they did exactly that. Fast forward to chapter two and we got Midas, one of the most popular skins in the game. But it wasn't until recently that players started to notice the detail in his tattoos. From 24K under the chin to Midas written on his neck and even Marigold on the leg. But there is one feature in the game that that hardly any players got to see. If there's a raptor chasing you down, it might not be the best option to hide in the house because these guys could open doors just like in Jurassic Park. You probably heard the saying that a UFO sighting is likely just a weather balloon. So when Epic added a little ship as a backlink during season seven, they took the conspiracy and ran wild giving it the perfect name. It's not the only time they've taken a joke from real life because when we were able to run around in imposters, you might've seen this TV. The IO logo is bouncing around just like the iconic DVD menu and it can even land in the corner of the screen. But if anything is attention to detail, it's the remix paintings in Deadpool's yacht. Inside, you can find a bunch of famous pictures like the Scream, but instead of the originals, Deadpool somehow snuck his way into every single one. 
One of the craziest features that Fortnite's ever added was one they had to remove instantly. For a short time in chapter one, your character's mouth would mime what you said on voice chat. It was a hilarious addition, but after only a week, it was cut. When Epic added the Fortnite pickaxe, they secretly made it inclusive for everyone. That is why there's an alternate style that switches the way you hold the utensils, just in case you're a lefty. One thing we were all holding in season four was the explosive goo gun. It was pretty OP, but if you paid attention to the canister as you fired, it would actually drain the goo. Small detail not a lot of people noticed, and it even filled back up when reloading. So if you thought the IO was gone, just take a look at your own inventory. They're the ones that made the gold we've been using for years with their logo imprinted on every bar. They're also on playing cards. You can see their logo on the back and instead of hearts or spades in the front, it's all of their symbols and glyphs. We're all familiar with the food fight between Dirt Burger and Pizza Pit, but there is one rivalry that a lot of people missed. In Butter Barn, you can see that Mancake had a wanted poster of Guaco with a bounty reward of a hundred million. If you've ever wondered how Fortnite managed to make a pizza so healthy that it heals you, it's actually because of the toppings. Open up the box and you'll see slices of slurp mushrooms on all the pieces. Another amazing attention to detail has to do with John Wick. Whenever you equip him in the lobby, you'll notice that he has his iconic silence pistol from the movie. Well, this gets even better with the skin, because if you use the damage style and the bulletproof fee mode, it makes the bullet casings fall off of his suit. If you watch a trailer for Vibin and wonder why Vader used the force on his own stormtrooper, it's actually so he's tall enough to go on the ride. A clever reference to this line from the movie. Short for a stormtrooper. Huh? But did you know there's one emote that lets you fail at dancing? When you do slap happy, there's a small chance that the music will be out of tune and even the crowd will boo you. But to spot this next secret, you'll have to own two different skins. We all know that Midas and Oro have the same scar, but the mystery only gets deeper when you notice he has the same ring and pattern on his Midas Rex suit. One of my favorite details is found when you equip the Lack Pack. On the side of the carton is a missing poster for Jonesy, which is from when he entered the loop and got trapped. One of the most relatable emotes is Snackin. We've all tried to throw food in our mouths only to fail, and Epic knew this. If you wait long enough, your character will try and just completely miss. One of the hardest weapons to find has a story that's been hiding in plain sight. Marksman 6 Shooter was an exotic for a few seasons, but if you zoomed in, you notice tally marks all over it. It's meant to be a western weapon, so this could be for days spent in prison or for how many people it's taken out. Something else Epic put way too much time into is the Uncharted collab. If you watch the movie, you'll know the treasure map was based on the same one they steal, but in Fortnite, they replaced the real world with a Chapter 3 island, so it fit a little better. Since there are so many loading screens in the game, it's nearly impossible to spot all the hidden secrets, but there is one in particular where Fortnite decided to go all out. The Barallel universe was exclusive to the crew, but teased things like the Alien season, Vox Hunter, and even the Foundation's banner. Our next detail revolves around one Fortnite trailer where if you blink, you'll miss it. The video for Imposters shows a janitor about to clean Jones' office, but pause and you'll notice it's all cracked and broken. You're wondering why? It's the same wreckage caused from the Galactus event. Midas is known for three things, the Golden Tusk, the device event, and being eaten by a shark. But it turns out Epic secretly teases fate the whole time. If you take a look at Midas' tattoos, the one on his wrist has a shark about a bite. He's also the one who gave us this POI, so it was a fitting way to go. One of my favorite details is on the Barat skin. I mean, this whole outfit is insane, but there's something you can't see from the front. You gotta turn him around, and the design on his hat will reveal itself. I know at first it looks like nothing, but look closer, and yeah, it's a hot dog. Genius. A detail I bet you never notice involves the the Mandalorian. We all remember getting aimbotted by this guy in Chapter 2, and they even gave him a Mando's Bounty LTM. But it turns out that his armor was different based on what mode you were playing. In regular games, he looks like this, while the Mando's Bounty gives him full Beskar. But back to Chapter 4, we are days away from getting a new weapon, the Toggle Zoom DMR. This was first spotted in the trailer, and if you look closely, it has Gotcha painted on the side with a little smiley face. Pretty cool considering that's exactly how it feels to snipe someone. There's even a reference to the Imagined Order hidden away in LEGO Fortnite. When exploring your world, you can find randomly generated structures like villages, caves, or broken down houses, but one of them is insanely rare to find, the IO Bunker. It's the classic hatch from chapter 1 and 2, and now people are starting to discover them in LEGO. If you picked up the Lil Wheelie emote recently, you will appreciate its hidden design. Look at the bike from the front, and yup, that's the Devourer. You can even spot his teeth behind your knees. Speaking of throwbacks, we've been looking at Meowsel's wrong this whole time. When you're flexing your muscles, he's not just kissing them for fun, he's actually kissing the Lynx tattoo in his arm, which is super adorable. On the topic of loved ones, Brutus has a similar detail. For years he was covered up, but then Summer Brutus dropped, giving us a first look at his tattoos. Three of them are dedicated to his mom, with her name on his arm, then these designs which say Mama's Big Baby and Love Mom Always. How sweet. We also have someone to celebrate, Fortnite. The game turned six years old a few months ago, and they hosted a birthday event that includes the Slice 06 backbling. 
If you read its description, it knows what Seven did, and as we all know, Seven Eight Nine. It's a fun little joke that most people wouldn't have spotted. Kind of like Firework Team Leader's back bling. It's a couple of fireworks and a hat, but if you zoom all the way in, they have special branding with artwork we have never seen before, like Starstruck, Dino Rock, and Bright Bomb. An impressive fact is how Fortnite's reloads are insanely realistic. If you have a shotgun and empty the shells, you would think that canceling the animation would just let you do it over and over. Well, that's until you restart, and the game remembers that the gun is already out of bullets. Now, season four has a hit of detail that you would never expect, and it's hiding in the basement of Fish Thick's house. Underneath the gym, you'll discover an aquarium full of tiny fish. Are these his children or his pets? I don't know what's more terrifying. He's not the only person who's super buff either. The Hulk is ripped, and he has the receipts to back it up. If you use the smash emote, his back muscles actually flex. Kind of crazy that someone spent their entire workday on this. But here's another buff character, Meowsles. So do all these guys go to the same gym or something? Actually, no, because Meowsles has a private room on the yacht, and when you explored it, the details were incredible. Look at this dartboard where he spends his time aiming at Doggo. I guess the famous cats versus dog rivalry even exists in Fortnite. If you want to play as other animals, like a snake or an eagle, use Maeve. She could shapeshift into a ton of wildlife, and every time she switches, a different part of her tattoo will light up. And make sure to look at Sarah Connor, because even diehard fans can't spot this detail. Just underneath her vest, you could barely make out a bandage on her shoulder blade. It is really subtle, but this is accurate to the movies where she was injured by the T-1000. Always fun to see R-rated movies in Fortnite, and it's actually not that surprising. There were adult themes on license plates back in the day, like Pimpins. I also love ones like Open Tailgate, Lil Wagon, and Elevator. But have you ever paid attention to Fortnite's logos. They put a ton of thought into things as simple as Guaco's Tacos. It's easy to miss the hidden message here, but look at the C and O. They go together to make an actual taco. So to burn off those calories, wear the soccer skins. Once you've equipped these, they will default to the number 14. Feels a little random until you realize why. There are 14 days in a fortnight. A little when they add things that most people don't even think about, like the Enhanced Infiltrator's design. If you're not wearing a wrap, it looks like this, which is pretty random for a generic shotgun. Except this ain't your regular shoddy. The fish skeleton actually belongs to a character. Equip fish thick and then switch his edit style. There you go. This is his shotgun. Now take a look at chapter four's map. Some POIs have random shapes and others are specifically designed that way, like a relentless retreat that was an eclipse. Fortnite has been doing this for a long time, whether it's a fish-shaped island or a heart in the ocean. That brings us to chapter one, where Frosty Flights actually had a secret detail. Some players believe this part of the island is shaped like a penguin, and honestly, I can kind of see it. There's also some secrets in Fortnite Festival. Load into the main stage, and before you cue your songs, take a second to explore the theater, cause there is an evil plot hiding behind you. Head up into the left stands, and you can find a bird and cat plushie who are planning to kill someone. Yeah, definitely creepy. It's kind of like how they designed another member of the Seven, The Origin. Most people associate him with this incredible suit, but his base style is actually him in a prison outfit. Yeah, a lot of players don't really use this, but if you paid attention, you would see the number seven on a shirt. You gotta love the attention to detail. Once you unlock the Beats Bunny, it's obviously a reference to rhythm games like Beat Saber. But they went all out with this. It's going way too fast to notice, but let's slow it down. Yes, those sticks you're holding are actually rabbits, and the things you're hitting are carrots. It's easy to miss how much effort goes into these skin releases, and that's especially true for Jill Valentine. Not only is she super accurate to the Resident Evil games, but her item shop render has the exact same pose as the RE3 remake. Enjoying the nostalgia for a second, anyone remember their very first skin? Mine was Battlehound, and I've had this guy for six years now. Well, now I'm feeling a little blind, because I never noticed the eye holes in his mouth. I could not unsee this. It looks so weird now. We're all familiar with the new update to healing this season, with meds giving you what you need and discarding the rest. But pay attention when drinking a big shield. You'll throw it on the ground, but it doesn't just vanish. It actually smashes, and you can hear the glass shatter all over the floor. Well, that's not the only change. Even Lucian's back bling has received an update. Before, he was a baby wolf who was missing an eye, and it was adorable. But if you read the description, it said he was tougher than he looks. Maybe we should have listened, because now Lil Louie means business. He is fully grown and looks terrifying. At least you can enjoy the aesthetics of J Balvin Redux. He's another skin who got a massive upgrade, and if you look at his feet, those are some very nice shoes. Turns out they're not only real Air Jordans, but they are J Balvin versions that you could buy right now. The more you know. If you're feeling lost, 
cost of the brand new map, simply equip Adventure Peely's back bling. The Nana Compass isn't just adorable, it actually functions, pointing north, east, south, or west depending on which way you're facing in a match. That's just like the underrated design of Penny. It's one of the oldest skins in Fortnite, but only recently came to Battle Royale. Now we can truly appreciate her style, including the lipstick on her belt. It blends in with the shotgun shells at first glance, but it shows how she balances fighting with style. Kinda like the heist bags, yeah they're full of loot, but Fortnite also went with a genius design. Instead of just glowing like a chest, they put glow sticks attached to the bag so you can spot it in the dark. Something you don't want to ignore though is the secret loot cave. On the far east of the island, you can find a small cave in the rocks, climb through the tunnels and passageways before finally swimming under the water to reach a giant opening. This place looks crazy and to make it even better, it's filled with chests and our beloved friends, the Coral Buddies. That's just like my favorite back bling, the Brain Freeze. Every time I wear this thing, I start craving a popsicle because it looks that good, okay? Well, that's until you play a game with it and as time goes on, it starts to actually melt. If you make it all the way to the end of a match, there's basically nothing left of your popsicle. And that's not the only mind-blowing throw back, if you're in the Renegade Rust Cat, you probably noticed it had a strange number on the back. 2.297, what could it possibly mean? Well, it's actually a genius reference to Fortnite's most infamous back bling. Back in 2018, the servers went down for a whole day, causing a ridiculous frenzy. And so to reward players for waiting, Epic handed out the Rust Bucket. As you can see right there on the sign, 2.297, made even cooler by the fact that Rust Lord and Renegade Raider were originally in the same set. In fact, if you go to the bonus styles of the OG Pass, you'll find Magmatic Renegade links, who's an on-the-nose reference to our first remix, Blaze. And that's not even the coolest detail in the battle pass, Epic really put effort in for all the veteran players, which you'll realize if you look at any of the loading screens. This portrait of Lil Split being carried up the ice is of course taken directly from Peely's first ever artwork, or Renegade Lynx recreating the art for high explosives. She also appears in the replica of her original loading screen, except the version in 2018 is one of the only animated cosmetics in the game, and this one, it sadly isn't. And there's a detail which was first spotted all the way back in chapter one, but didn't make sense until now. Outside an old ranch at Paradise Palms, you can find two gravestones for the people who live there. One of them has a framed picture of a woman holding a doll. At the time, this meant nothing to us, and then it faded away into obscurity. Well, that's until the final reckoning happened, revealing Willow as a fully fledged outfit. Not only was she a haunted bride, but she also had a doll head variant. Now this Easter egg has returned, and we know exactly what it's referencing. A secret backstory to one of Fort Nightmare's scariest villains. On the topic of backstories, if you go to Carbine hero base, you could find the blueprints of his original suit design. They're on a table showing his first prototype, followed by a mask on a mannequin. Obviously, we found out the whole hero story is part of a movie, so I would explain these concept designs. Not the only outfit to blow us away, while designing Lil Split, Fortnite went all out. As you know, Peely has a 2D mouth, while Lil Whip has a 3D one that barely moves. So matching them together, they gave Split the cartoon mouth with Lil Whip's iconic blue tongue. You would never notice this unless you made him smile. And if you didn't watch Stranger Things, you probably wouldn't know the detail in Eleven said. She recently dropped with a diorama back bling, and this is taken straight from the show where she turned a shoebox into Hopper's cabin. Except, Fortnite has changed this. Not only is there an upside down variant, but if you compare the back bling to the real diorama from the show, they turned Hopper's police car into a generic vehicle. If you prefer the tier 50 outfit, Omega Rock has some incredible details in his set. His pickaxe is a mashup of Omega's Onslaught and Ragnarok's Permafrost, fusing together to create Winter's Onslaught. The same goes for his back bling, which grabs the Frozen Shroud and destabilizer to make Apocalypse Shroud. But when I first heard about the Grand Glacier, it sounded way too familiar. Creepy hotel, abandoned in the snowy mountains, reminds me of the Overlook from The Shining. Well, I guess the developers also thought that, because if you head into the hotel's maze, you'll find a statue buried in snow with an ax next to him. Yeah, it's a family-friendly version of The Shining's ending, where Jack freezes to death in the maze while holding his ax. For an Easter egg a little less freaky, head south of the map where you'll find an island that creates a love heart bridge. It's adorable, but also sets the seed for a perfect perfect wedding venue, and that's exactly what the stone frogs are looking for. Just across, you can find a wedding ceremony happening between two frogs in love, and all I'm saying is, we need more wholesome secrets. And that's exactly what we're getting because there's a whole island full of them. At the northeast part of the map, you'll find this small chunk of land. It's covered top to bottom in secrets, like a buried tomato head, Meowsel's ball of yarn, Sky's poster board, there's tons of callbacks to previous seasons. And one of the longest running gags has been the lack of family guy in Fortnite. Two years ago, this image was leaked showing an 
entire scene from the show with the blood cut out. It definitely wasn't a troll because there was too much effort, and yet, time passed with no news. After so long, we all gave up, but now that Chapter 5 dropped Peter, Epic made sure to troll us one last time with that same secret backlink playing the scene from all of those years ago. Things get real sinister when you think of Peely, as we learn in the Big Bang event he is currently missing from the poster. A major part of this season's story is how Peely has been kidnapped and Jones is on a mission to save him. Well, looks like his captors are not messing around. If you head to the motel near Grand Glacier, one of the rooms shows this banana peel and a chair. Looks like they held him hostage here before moving on, which is a little messed up for Dyke Sheesh. I forgive him though, because we could finally label our own guns in Chapter 5. Yeah, if you upgrade your weapon at a vault workbench, it'll be handed back with a new name. Congrats, you officially own that gun so now your teammates can prove you stole their stuff, you loot goblin. One of the best callbacks of this season includes a fan favorite POY returning. If you played in chapter two, you'll remember the yacht. Well, it's back and currently docked on the very left of the island. Just like the previous version, it's also named Marigold, but this has a new paint job given by the society. If you're wondering, these are the guys who kidnapped Peely and their logo has the community in a frenzy. It's two hands and an eye, a pretty standard design for a secret agency, but the gold color reminds players of Midas and they are convinced he is the leader. One of the coolest parts of the LEGO collab is how you could use any of the skins in your locker with the mode. As long as it's not a crossover skin, basically anything works. And they even ported a few pages of the emotes over, like Sharpshooter where you use your finger guns. Only one problem, LEGO characters don't have fingers, so they use bananas instead. And when it comes to emotes like the sea shanty, Epic actually got the lip sync to work. Their hopes were high for a win that day. Go me squatty boys go. In fact, when you leave the lobby, it even plays the classic Lego death sound. The amount of detail in Chapter 5 is insane. Of course, everyone's been freaking out over the new train feature, but this gets better. Head to a station, and if you're wondering when the next train is gonna show up, it tells you. There's a timer at every stop, counting down until the exact second your train will appear. And thanks to this, we also know it takes nine minutes just to circle the map once. One of my favorite secrets, though, is hiding in plain sight. On the first page of the Battle Pass, you'll find this banner. It belongs to Hope, and seems like a regular old cat, right? Well, it's actually a reference to this iconic meme from last year. Not the only the adorable creature hidden in Chapter 5, as you explore the island, you might come across the return of Coral Buddies. They've taken the game by storm over the last few years and are here once again to entertain us. In fact, the islanders love them so much, they even made a movie. At Ruin Reels, you'll find this poster for Revenge of the Coral Buddies. Now that is a film I'm gonna see. And so you might be wondering, what happened to Peter Griffin? Why is he so swole now? Well, Fortnite has made a short video explaining exactly what happened. Okay, in all seriousness, there is a pretty awesome Easter egg hiding in Grand Glacier. Explore the interior of the hotel and you'll find a ton of oil paintings that hold a secret backstory. This one is my favorite, it shows a medieval town, but if you look closer, it's the homeworld of Princess Fishstick, and this painting shows a croissant with googly eyes. Well, it turns out that's actually an unreleased backlink called Sir Burr, which was supposed to release five months ago. Not the only cool detail hidden around the map, there is one house full of Easter eggs. In the very north of the island, there's a house called Cloister Castle. Seems pretty creepy, but head Inside, and you'll find the home of a Chapter 4 enthusiast. The whole place is filled with memorabilia like Splits Bowl, Gongs, and even the Peace Syndicate's arcade machine. Keep exploring into the fields, and you'll probably find one of these windmills. They are brand new to the game, but there's a hidden joke if you find all of them. The first one is called the Old Mill, pretty normal, until you find the other windmill. Alright, I guess they could think of another name, but just wait until you find the other, other windmill. Okay, I gotta admit, it's a pretty good joke, but it makes me wonder if there's one hidden in the new idol animations. If you stand still for long enough, your character gets bored, checks out their weapon, or even cracks their neck, there's a ton of them, and I wonder if there's any super rare animations with like a 1% chance. That's not the only cool update, there's also some brand new pickaxe animations for the duelist foil. It uses stabbing movements like a sword and fencing, which makes perfect sense for Nisha's character. Hopefully, we'll even get it updated for some older swords like duelist grace. One place you won't get much loot is at Meowth's RV. Sure, it's a blank spot, but it's definitely worth checking out if you're a fan because it's actually the same RV from chapter 4. He officially made it onto the new map. And this wouldn't be a secrets video if I didn't bring up the best easter egg of all. When you eliminate Peter Griffin, he pulls off the funniest death animation in Fortnite history. Okay, and that was one hour of Fortnite details. It's been Tommy, and keep it here on Top 5 Gaming.